it's bad faith um, behavior, and um, the people of this county are going to pay the price for it. The Champaign County nursing home is shutting down, and it'll cost the community 243 licensed beds. But the owner of the University Rehabilitation Center says keeping it open, open is not an option. Good evening, I'm Brenda Marano. And I'm Jessica Coons. For months, the owner of University Rehab has asked the county board to amend an agreement that requires the facility to stay open as a nursing home until 2028. But they've said no. WCI 3 Scarlett O'Hara joins us now. Scarlett, the owner says occupancy is one of the issues. Avi Rothner told me in an email the level of occupancy in this marketplace and university rehab specifically is quote such that the situation is not economically viable. In 2010 he says the nursing home averaged about 196 patients in 2015 185 patients and in 2021 about 127 patients. Currently, he says there are about 80 left in the facility. One of several problems he says he's been transparent about with the board on top of losing millions of dollars. I'm sorry to see that our worst fears are coming true. In a letter to families Monday, University Rehabilitation Center Administrator Don Jobs said, quote, the facility's ownership analyzed the Urbana marketplace and after careful review has made the only and difficult decision to close this building. It certainly puts families in a quandary. This is not a good situation at all. It's something Champaign County Healthcare Consumers Executive Director Claudia Lenhoff has been afraid of for months. I just feel so sad about this. I feel that people are going to be very stressed and scared about this. University Rehab will become the third nursing home in Champaign County bought and closed by 50% owner Avi Rothner since 2018. He says he operated the Helia and Heartland buildings for a short period of time before selling them and says while he didn't make money in those transactions, he hoped patients would flow to University Rehab, which he bought from the county in 2019, but it wasn't enough to stay afloat. I will not sit here and continue to fund what is unfortunately a situation that I believe is now irreversible and be at a point where if I don't, I'm compromising patient safety. That's from a March County board meeting during which Rothner pleaded his case to amend a covenant preventing him from selling. Although the board has repeatedly turned him down, he says he still hopes something will change and he'll be able to keep a contract with a buyer interested in converting university rehab to a substance use disorder facility. But the other thing that's a shame is that um, if this facility is shut down and a new nursing home and rehab operator is not found, our community is losing a huge health care asset and resource. Lenhoff says she's prepared to guide people through the transition, but knows it could mean patients moving farther away from families or settling for subpar care in nearby facilities. There is a reason those beds are empty, and it usually has to do with quality of care concerns. Rothner says employees were given 60 days notice of the closure. And if you're an employee or if you have a loved one at University Rehab and you'd like to talk to us, you can send an email to me or news at WCIA.com. Back to you. Scarlett, thank you. In a statement emailed to us, County Board Chair Kyle Patterson said there is no shortage of engagement and communication happening between all parties and emphasized the sale of university rehab is contingent upon it staying open as a nursing home through the end of 2027.